What's going on, everybody? My name is Mason Foles, one of the winners in winners.com, expert handicappers, here today on October 30th, 2022, with another free pick video. Happy Sunday to everyone. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend, and I hope you're ready for a few more picks today. Luckily, yesterday we went 4 0 as we cashed in on our free pick as well. I took Penn State plus 15 and a half at home against Ohio State. They made that game a lot closer than people thought it was going to be, but they almost let it slip through their fingers in the fourth quarter. They luckily scored that last minute touchdown to uh, get us that backdoor cover. It was a great cash for us as we are now 1 0 in our new streak. And I'm 11 and 9 in my last 20 free picks. So I'll be looking to keep that streak alive today. Now, I also took the over 61 points in the Baylor versus Texas Tech game. It's my best bet. Old Miss money line against AM. I also had the over in the Wake Forest versus Louisville as Louisville absolutely took it to them in that one. Bunch of points were scored. We cashed in. So another 4 0 day. It was a great way to bounce back. It's exactly what I was looking for. And uh, it gets me really excited to attack today's slate of games. Now, if you guys could please like, subscribe, hit that bell, comment to tell me what you're betting on or what you want to see and I'll keep cranking these videos out for you guys. I appreciate your comments so much. All the likes mean the world to me, and I can't wait to see where this journey is going to go from here as uh, we're just getting started. Now, I also wanted to let you guys know if you can get this video to 75 likes before the first NFL game, I'll drop my free NFL touchdown score parlay on my Twitter. As the last few weeks, we've come up one leg short, so I think it's finally our time to shine. Now, today with my free pick, I'm taking the New York Jets, plus two and a half at home against the New England Patriots. New England really struggled against the Bears last week. And I'm not going to lie, I'm buying into Zach Wilson and the Jets. Now, the Patriots, they're averaging the 16th most points per game. So they've struggled to consistently score. They've had to lean on their rushing attack as they're only averaging the 21st most passing yards per game. So they're going to have to put the ball in Mac Jones' hands in this one. As Belichick said he was starting earlier in the week, and I just don't have a lot of confidence in him. He looked horrible last week against the Bears, and uh, he just hasn't proven to me that he's a starter in the NFL yet. He's going to struggle against this defense, and I wouldn't be surprised if he continued to turn the ball over as well. The Patriots, they've got the second most turnovers this season as they continue to give the ball to their other team. So I see that happening in this one as they're slowly going to fall behind. Now, they're going to try to lean on their run as Mac Jones has struggled to throw the ball, but I see that being a problem against this Jets front seven as they've continued to clog the middle and make it extremely hard for their opponents to run the ball. Now, the Patriots on defense... They're allowing the 25th most rushing yards, 136.7 per game, the 15th most points. And last week, they gave up 33 to Justin Fields and the Bears, as I never thought I'd say that. But it's true, as uh, they struggled against the run and the pass. As I see Zach Wilson in this Jets offense continuing to roll down the field as they're going to score enough points to cover this spread or even win outright. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not going to lie. Now, I also think the uh, Patriots' schedule has been Nothing crazy. Their three wins have not impressed me at all. They've been against three weak teams, the Lions, the Steelers, and the Browns. None of those teams are doing anything this season, and uh, they've fallen to all their other opponents, as I think the Jets are a legit team. I can't believe I'm saying it, but I am, as uh, they're legit. They absolutely dominated the Broncos last week. They're going to come into this game with confidence and continue to roll. They're scoring the 14th most points per game and uh, they're going to run the ball down the Patriots' throat. They're averaging 117 rush yards per game. And like I said, the Patriots are giving up the 25th most rushing yards. As I see the Jets controlling the line of scrimmage, controlling tempo, and controlling this game, so they're going to consistently move down the field and continue to score. They also traded for James Robinson this last week, as I know that Brees Hall's out with an ACL injury. But Robinson's a great option. They also have Michael Carter as uh, those two are definitely going to get the job done on the ground today. They've also got four straight wins as uh, they're on a heater right now. They're going to keep it rolling at home. They got a ton of confidence right now. And I see them slinging the rock all over the yard in this one. I see the Zach Wilson to uh, Garrett Wilson connection happening as uh, they got weapons all over the field. And uh, I see them utilizing them in this one. Now, I love this pick as well because this Jets defense is for real. They're going to make it extremely tough for Mac Jones as they're allowing the 10th least amount of points this season, the 9th least amount of yards, and the 11th least amount of rush yards as they're going to clog the middle, make it extremely tough for Harrison Stevenson to move the ball and uh, force Mac Jones to beat him, which is not going to happen. Now, the home team is also 10-4-1 against the spread. The last 15 meetings between these two teams as the home team has the advantage. That's the Jets in this one, as they're going to come in with confidence. They're going to continue to roll. They're going to cover the two-and-a-half-point spread against the Patriots, as you just got to take the Jets at plus two-and-a-half at minus 105, some value there. And I will see all of you back in the green. 
Now, I'd also love it if you guys could check out my best bet today. Today, my best bet is in the Raiders versus Saints game. $49.99 risk-free as if it doesn't hit, you'll get your money back. But I'm 7-2 and two in my last nine best bets, so I'm seeing those well, and I'm continuing to look to attack today. We also cashed in on my NCAA pick-me-up three-pack yesterday, so I'll have my NFL pick-me-up three-pack available now as uh, those are my three favorite NFL picks of the day, all put together in one package, 65 bucks. And if they don't go two and one or better, you'll get your money back. My best bet is also included in that package. It's a deal for only $15 more. You get my two next favorite picks. So I'm going to be looking to keep this streak alive. 4-0 today. See you in the board well. I'm going to continue to look to attack today. Now, I'd also love it if you guys could use my 50% off promo code at checkout. I'll post it in the description, but that code is P3DVQ. MF50, and all you need at the end of checkout to take some money off the top before we win some more. Now, I'd also love it if you guys could hop on those premium subscriptions, weekly, monthly, yearly, whatever you need. I got your back. I'm handicapping in the majority of sports right now, and uh, I'm looking to turn a corner. We had a great Saturday. I'm looking to finish this weekend strong. So hop on those subscriptions if you need some consistent winners, and I'll carry you to the green there as well. Now, I hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday. Thank you so much for checking out this video. It means the absolute world to me. If you guys could please leave a like, comment, and subscribe so you can come back tomorrow and catch another free pick and have a fantastic day. Thank you again.